Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Taylor and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this. It's a pseudo 3D text effect. You can do this with logos, you can do this with your text, you can do this with different cartoon characters if you want. Um, I found that this looks pretty cool if you want to use it as a YouTube banner or a Twitter banner or a Facebook banner. Pretty much anything that you would want to display like your logo or your text and have your name displayed really nicely you can do this effect with and uh Wow, I'm already like 30 seconds in, I better hurry this up. If you guys want to, I'll have a link down below to where you can watch my tutorial on how to install gradients. That's probably going to be pretty beneficial for this tutorial, uh, but you can just use your own gradients near the end if you want. So I'm just going to jump right in. So we're going to use the text tool for this and we're just going to type out, you know, our name. And the font that I'm using is called Birds of Paradise. If you want to download that, I'll have a link down below for you to download that. Um, we're going to align our text into the middle just for the sake of the tutorial. So control A to select all and then click right here. This button here will align it horizontally and then this one will align it uh, vertically. So after you do that, do control D to deselect and we're going to group this layer just uh, to keep things nice and organized. So control G while you have this layer selected will automatically put that into a group and make sure that you click back onto your text layer or your logo layer so that you're messing with the text layer and not the group. So come down to effect and we're gonna add a layer style and what we're gonna add is a stroke. Uh, I found that black looks pretty cool but almost black gray looks even better I think so this is the hex code I'll have it on the screen for a little bit um, if you want to use that and a size 4 looks pretty good and make sure that you have the position set to outside and blending mode to normal so just go ahead and press OK and how we're gonna do this is we want to duplicate our layer and push it to the left a little bit duplicate it again and push it up a little bit and we're just gonna do that a whole bunch of times and there's a nice and easy way to do that if you hold alt and you use your arrow keys it'll push and duplicate that layer over and over again so if you do alt left it'll push it over like you see and then alt up and it'll push it up and then you just keep going back and forth back and forth back and forth and you get this pseudo 3d effect make sure that you don't mess it up and do like left up up or anything like that because it, it'll make it look a little bit messed up so don't worry too much about that um, it's pretty easy if you mess up to go back and redo it so um, this top layer is what we're gonna add our gradient onto and it's really nice and easy you just add another layer style and click gradient overlay and blending mode normal opacity 100 and then the gradients that I think look pretty good are an easy one to do is just white to black and then you set the style to reflected angle 90 and then scale to 150 so you get this nice you know kind of silvery look to it I think it looks kind of cool um, you can also use all sorts of different gradients uh, what I think looks good is a light color to a dark color so I would recommend doing that like a light blue to a darker blue or something like this where it's like a light pink light pink peach color to a darker orange color just just kind of mess around with it guys like like in all of my tutorials it's just something that you have to mess around with find what you think looks good and then just own it you have to own your own style I can give you the tools and show you how to do things but you have to make it your own you have to learn your own style and what you think looks good um, a couple different things that you can do after this is add a pattern overlay so this is just something that's default from Photoshop and then you can set this to like multiply I think that looks pretty cool you can even mess with the opacity a little bit so yeah just just kind of mess around with things um, watch a couple of my other tutorials and you'll start to learn more tools and things like that and then you just have to start to make your own style make your own things as you learn the tools so if you like this video you liked the the kind of short step-by-step step on how to learn the tools and learning how to make this effect in particular uh, make sure you like subscribe thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video